welcome to another episode of Peaked. Uh, it's good to be back. I got my amazing co-host, as always, JP Noda. What's up, y'all? And my guest today, Anthony Davis. Yeah, that's is, right. Why do I feel like you have a middle name? Because I do. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you don't put it on Facebook, right? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I just I thought <laughs> I thought there was three parts to your name, and then halfway through saying it, I was like. Mm. For hard-hitting hard journalism, oh, yeah. come to peak. <laughs> no, no, God, no. Don't. If you want any news, do not come to us. We're only here for ridiculous speculation and outrageous opinions. Uh, <laughs> My middle name's Craig. Is it Craig? Oh, yeah. so An Anthony Craig Davis? Yeah, Christian. That is. Oh, Anthony Craig Davis Christian? Yeah, ACDC. Oh, that's fucking that's sick. Red. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. purpose? No, God, no. It was just like a in the South, it's like a thing you can put like a Christian at the end of your name to show that you're like super religious since I was raised in the church my whole life. Were like, you raised in the church your whole life? Hell yeah. My dad, how, yeah. How, how, how deep in were you? Oh, like I went to church like three times a week. Whoa. My dad what? my dad was like a like a preacher, like but he can't read, so that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was just... Was yeah. that his shtick? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Bible we... says, uh, I, I, I don't know. I heard uh, some stuff, but just, you know, just, be good. Just hearing him listening to it on audio tape, and it kind of skips a little <laughs> bit. Just hearing him, like, like, sounding it out. I'm just like, Dad, you got you, you got to learn how to read. You got to get together. With Was there stuff. a reason he didn't know how to read? No, he just. He Was it just the South? <laughs> it's just the South. Hey, we are a bunch of learned people down there. <laughs> we got books. Probably, I don't know. Never read him. I ain't dumb. But no, like no, he's just uh, he was like the like the bait, like pitcher and the football like the quarterback. So it was one before that time where you had to learn how you had to. Oh, before they made you have good grades, where yeah. you could just be a great athlete. Yeah, and they he were just literally like, was like, you know what? The worst thing is, I found out last year just because I like because of the pandemic, I I reached out to my family and talked to them a little bit more, which I don't recommend. But <laughs> I asked my mom, I was like, hey, how'd you, how'd you and dad meet? And uh, she's like. Oh, in the college library. I was like, but dad can't read. What was he doing there? <laughs> There's not picture books there. And she's like, uh, I don't know. He saw her and was like, I now have a reason to go to the library. <laughs> <laughs> no, like she was dating someone else. She was dating someone else. And he pulled, pulled the most um, weirdest power move ever. He followed them to dinner, paid for their check, and then waited for the huh. date to be over. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's pretty that's cool. Wild. For, I, yeah. I really respect that. That's also shit. like, yeah, it's kind of rad. That is <laughs> right. Like, that's like you for like, I would just imagine like how suave and like how smooth and like either funny how he had to be for my mom to be like, I mean, he can't read, but he's pretty funny. You know? <laughs> I mean, when you can't read, bro, you really got, you got his you personality. Got, like, yeah. Those stats, when you're starting a video game and you put nothing to intelligence, you got to put it in somewhere <laughs> oh, else. Oh, yeah, 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 dude. It was, like, was all charisma, dog. All he charisma. was all charisma. <laughs> he's just like throwing down that dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, you ever see a 17-inch dick? No. Well, what do you want to? Man. And that's it. That heard it been. It's horrible to think that, but it's it can't be no, anything no, else. I know, no, 100%. It has to be. I, uh, it's funny when you start to get older and you start asking your parents about stuff. And I had asked my dad, uh, and I was like, how would you guys meet? And like where I was conceived. And those are two of the worst questions to ever ask because my <laughs> – why would you ask the second one? We got high. And, uh, <laughs> it's Tuesday. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. What else are you going to do? You know, whatever. So I guess my mom – my dad used to ride motorcycles, and he was bad at it. Um, so yeah, he was just, he would always like crash. Yeah. He was crashing motorcycles all the time. He was just like, you know, he, he drove, he rode a motorcycle to look cool. You know, he was one of those guys. Um, and I guess they were both pulled up at a stoplight. It was her and a car full of her friends. And, uh, her friend was like, Hey, uh, my friend in the back wants to talk to you. She thinks you're really cute. And he was like, all right. So they pull over and, uh, my dad goes, uh, her first friend came out and this bitch was big. And I almost started the car or I almost started the motorcycle and got the fuck out of there. He's like, then your mom came out and she was so hot. And I was like, that is the craziest thing for you to say. Like, that is so wild. And then he told me that they fucked in the woods. <laughs> they ran to Tahoe because my grandfather did not like my dad. Okay. So they, they drove to Tahoe to get married on a whim. 
and then they didn't even get a hotel room. They just had sex on the side of the road. You know, I miss when they used to lie to us. You know, right? Like, the good stories like, oh, we met at school. It was really cool. It was romantic. Cool. It candles. Was nice. No, no. He had candles. Yeah, yeah. He couldn't. He, he wrote me a card. I mean, he tried to write me a card. Couldn't read. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I just, I wanted to be lied to. I don't know what they, no, oh, no, what, no. I don't know what point in your life you're just like, oh, he's an adult now. Yeah. Your dad just had a huge cock and yeah. we, we, just, <laughs> we, we screwed in the woods. and So up, gross and graphic. Well, it's like, what? Do you, I've never had sex in the woods, but I just assume that it can't be fun. I mean, you really got to, I don't know. I, I was never like an adventurous person. I mean, I, 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 this is a, uh, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 24. So really? I, I had a place to stay to start having sex. So my okay. wife is laughing in the background because she makes fun of me for it all the time. No, it's fine. Uh, that's that's pretty funny, actually. Uh, my wife, uh, I'm like the second person my wife's ever been with. Whoa. I know, right? So that, that level of disappointment is just... Oh, no, it's still there. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you should say, like, you haven't had it better, and like unless that one person was, like, amazing. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 for real. <laughs> it would just be the worst thing just me and fucking Steve, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, wait, it's that, uh, that that bald dude in every single porno. It's, like, that guy just oh, yeah. laying down digs. Like, yeah, I mean, he's my only other one. It's like... <sighs> yeah, the only other, it was a professional porn star? All right, yeah. <laughs> That's got to be, like, the most, un- like, unnerving, uncomfortable situation. Like, oh, yeah, so you only had one other person? Yeah. But he, he was, was great, like the but I love you. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you make me giggle. That's the that's gotta be it, right? Like for yeah, us, yeah. especially as comedians, like the only reason we get our women that are the most beautiful, smart women in the world is that we make them laugh and they forget. A hundred percent. When I was in my twenties, that's where I remember when I worked in a bar. That's when I was like, I would just sometimes fall into relationships where I'm like, this person's way hotter than me. And yeah. like, they will wisen up soon. And they did. Uh, <laughs> Cause you, I, you can't be on all the time. You know what I mean? Especially when you're young and starting out in comedy, you're just trying. Yeah. You know? You're just try, trying those new jokes on her. And like, well, this relationship ain't going to work. What about this? You know what I mean? <laughs> she's just like, mm, I'm going to fuck this guy. Just um, brought this punchline. Like, no, that didn't get you. No, 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 no. uh, I remember in high school, I dated a girl. I was a sophomore and she was a senior. And she was like the star f- baseball player. Like everyone knew her. She was like super, super hot, very athletic. And uh, I remember my friend pulled me aside and was just like, you know, she's like really, really hot, right? And I go, yeah. And he's like, you know, you're going to get your heart broken in like a couple of weeks. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, she's not going to stay with you. He was like, this is such a out of the, like just a random matchup. And I was like, come on, man. It'll last. Did not last. That's a terrible friend. I, well, <laughs> I mean, come on. He like- was honest. Yeah, but like some friends, you'd be like, "Hey, man, you know it's, you, hey, what are you doing next week when you, uh, you know, when you're free for the rest of the month? You know, like you just <laughs> prepare you for it." You've never had a friend be, you've seen be in like a terrible relationship where you're like, mm, you know? Yeah, but you seem you seemed happy. Like, oh no, no, I you're, was. When you're riding that wave, you just be like, "All right, you know what? He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna." bail real soon He's and we're crash. gonna be there for him i'm gonna give him a blanket and some snacks and he'll be fine you know what i mean i had a friend who was dating a hot chick and she was just rude to everybody but we were all just like well he's happy <laughs> and then finally like they broke up and then we were like yeah she was the worst and he was like why didn't anyone tell me and we're just like because you were so happy <laughs> I mean, yeah but if, there, if that person was rude i i, I guess it, outside that realm of like hey how are they a person like if they're way hot but they're really cool you know inside or chill me all right you know just let them ride that wave maybe maybe looks don't matter obviously i mean for us obviously looks don't matter because you know i'm wearing a girdle right now a sweet sweat just to keep my fat in place oh no no, yeah so you know what i mean like at some point they're just looking at us like you know what looks can only get you so far he's got heart yeah he's got heart (laughs) he's got he's funny i can cook I get her weed. You know, there's a lot yeah, of good yeah, things yeah. Besides, <laughs> besides looks, you know? Yeah, me yeah. is just putting furniture together. I'm really good at doing that. Hell I did yeah. that all day today. I lean really hard into the weed thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you all ever right. put like furniture together high? I did that today, and I had to redo steps two through seven. Bro, Ikea started putting those like those twist things in on the end that like hold the screws in place. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was confused the fuck out of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of... And I'm sure someone's made this joke about uh, putting together furniture as like the adult Legos. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except, you know, oh, actually, Legos are more expensive. They you are like now. A, yeah, oh, they yeah, are. dude, they are. Yeah, like I uh, saw so, like one of those sets was like oh, that Lego Death Star. Was, I think like, it was three grand at least. Yeah. yeah, bro. There's some that are and the Millennium Falcons are sick. Of and they take you 
hours, like hundreds of hours to build. I would rather put together furniture for like like ones that don't come apart, like the ones where you have to put like solder them together with <laughs> nails and shit. I'd rather put that stuff together than Legos, honestly, because every single piece is like a hundred dollars each. Are we getting fucked up? Oh, we're getting into yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you have a driver too, so now we can actually get you really, Pick really some dabs. Um, had, do you do dabs often? You are a stoner, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. What do you? What's your thing of choice? Edibles, vapes, okay. and uh, blunts. Okay. Do you fuck with rosin? Uh, I've never fucked with rosin. You never fucked with rosin. Do you do concentrates? I I don't like concentrating. So. Why don't you? <laughs> I don't. Depends I on the closest I like. thing to it. Yeah, that's marijuana. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, <laughs> you uh, do you want to? I just I just started smoking within the last year, like really. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because yeah, like oh, shit. November I got my master's, so I was like I In was what I uh, cybersecurity. Oh, okay. Yeah, sick. That's sick. Yeah, I, I used I thought it was gonna be like I'm gonna keep people's network safe. I'm gonna do this stuff. I'm gonna be like protecting the world, the America from outsiders. Nope, it's just telling doctors they can't look at porn before they go into surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an epidemic? <laughs> They're like, dude, you gotta stop. I mean, <laughs> this That's all supposed to be HIPAA compliant. <laughs> 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 this dude just like, he brings his own Mac, but he gets on our network and he's just like, he just looks at big breasted Latina videos. <laughs> hey man. Before he operates on kids. Gotta get in the hey zone, man, dude. So, yes, <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you gotta do whatever it takes to really nail that surgery. It's called the flow state. Yeah, yeah it's it called the flow state. <laughs> 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 it's like, okay, okay, I'm gonna enter that body like he's entering that lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking get this cancer out. You're like, oh yeah, no, you're like, bro. No, no, no. whatever. You just, it's just porn music as he's removing the cancer. <laughs> like, the yeah, porn you fucking like that? You fucking like that? <laughs> it's just, like, it's worse than it's a kid though. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, oh. I mean, he's talking to the tumor. He's yeah, not talking to the kid. <laughs> yeah. And the tumor's obviously an adult. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's it's benign. Uh, this last bro- this last episode of Peaks and brought to you by kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing the last episode. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a fun uh it was a fun vault last guys. <laughs> it's last. This is what I <laughs> this is what happens when Caitlin calls in sick. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm glad you're doing better. Um what was I gonna say? Oh, okay. So we have a plethora of <laughs> items. We have the limited edition one, and then we have our proxy with our Droplet attachment. Since it is your first time, I what do you recommend? What do you think? I think the droplet would be fun. Really right, a good cool. one. That or if you want to go real slow with the proxy with the sand. Also, can I, sorry, desert. Can sorry. I just say how like professional Caitlin was? That was she sent me an email. She was very prompt about it. Gave me a picture like where the parking was. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Fantastic. Oh no, no, yeah, dear God, she's amazing. We have leveled up. We have yeah, leveled yeah. up by just adding one full person. It has changed. Everything. We now have one full person on the team. 100%. Because you remember what it was like before. It'd be like the day before I'd message you and be like, are you free? And then it'd be terrible uh, because like I just am bad at doing that and I wait to the last minute. And then I text our guest and be like, hey, do you want to do our podcast? And then two weeks later, I'm like, oh, I should have scheduled that. So that's kind of how this one is. all good. Does she smoke? Yeah, yeah, she works for the company. She just she's, got it together. Yeah, she. Yeah, she. Yeah, she's, she's just an adult. Yeah, she's just an adult. <laughs> <laughs> she's that one that waits till it's after her work day. Yeah, to, to smoke she's at. you know a fucking professional. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's, We're getting there. Yeah, one day. <laughs> I've done that when I'm just like sitting. I work from home. I'll sit at my desk. I'm like, all right, five, four, three, two, and clock out. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want me to do you, are you load it up? Uh, yeah. Can you pop in one of those? I accidentally left both this of these one? full. Whatever. It's cool. Perfect. Thanks, dude. I'll clean mine out. You want to let us one. know what? Uh, yeah, this one's going to be a limeade batter from our good buddies over at Punch Extracts. It's going to be a cross of the Amarillo and the um, Lemon Limes. Uh, the Amarillo is coming from Valley Grove, and the Lemon Limes is from our buddies over at, um, oh, fuck. I feel like an asshole. Uh, Luma. Luma Farms. Sorry. Thanks, guys. Uh, but it's going to be very lemon forward. You get that very kind of sweet lemon flavor with a little bit of sour diesel as well. Um, but then it finishes with a nice banana punch, so a really creamy and almost chalky taste to it. Why are you sound like a, a, like a sommelier for like weed? <laughs> you know, like those people that like do the wine thing? Like it's a, got a dry taste to it. Well, this is his job. But yeah. that's, that's amazing. So, like, yeah, so like, like it's, it's, I don't know, that's what I love to do. And I feel like it's like, a <coughs> weird, not a weird niche, but like an area I found where I, like, I really enjoy the taste of weed. Like, I smoke weed all day, like, for the taste of it for the most part. And yeah, get like, high, of course. But. No, yeah, but, like, I, honestly, I feel like weed's becoming more and more accepted outside of alcohol. You know, most a lot of people aren't drinking anymore. They're doing weed instead. And the fact that some of some weeds feels, like, stronger than meth where I'm from is it's <laughs> fucked up. You know what I mean? Uh, so, what, do I put my mouth here? You put your mouth here? You okay. put your finger here and rotate it? Okay. 
Oh, it should be good to get buzzed. Yeah. yeah. And nice. then uh, it should be good to go. Okay. Let's so you said you should get that. And you don't have to hit it like a bong super hard. You can just slowly inhale. You'll start to see it fill up. Oh, okay. It, uh, yeah, it chugs pretty well. It'll be that sweet kind of lemon kind of front, but I said there's that sour diesel in the um, in the lemon limes um, that'll kind of take over that little kind of peppery, gassy taste. Um, but then as you exhale, it'll be that banana OG and and um, sorry, and banana br- uh, punch that's in the Amarillo it really comes through, kind of almost like a chalky Pez like finish. Okay, that's really nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Super nice. And it's a nice sativa too. So nice and uplifting, nice euphoria kind of feel. I kind of feel it right behind my eyes right away when I dab. My eyes will kind of start to shut immediately. <laughs> you like you get eye all the time, and the person's like, "I just smoked for the first time in a long time. No, I'm fine. No coughing. Yeah, yeah. So how do you like this? This is nice. I like that. Right? It's a, it's a, it's a really smooth taste. It's not overpowering, but you know, it gets you there. And it, it's especially when I'm like exhaling it, I don't feel like it's like it's attacking my lungs. I feel like it's just coming out to say hi. Yeah. So that's it? the dope thing about the uh, the droplet too is is it's still small enough, and even the puff goes where a lot of the smoke expands in your lungs as opposed to like in the rig. Um, and so, like, it's a lot smoother of a draw and, like, exhale. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. <coughs> there we go. There's that cough. <laughs> I forgot all Yeah, that's so. Really, yeah, that's right? really. That's hash, nice. baby. I like that. Oh, yeah. All right. Got a couple different flavors, too. I'm actually really excited. It's your first time really kind of delving into it. Yeah, yeah, because you, you said you don't fuck with concentrates. No, I've oh. never. I, I think like what you skip the whole wax era and all that jazz. No, yeah, I basically just like, oh, is this an edible cookie? All right, let's eat that. And well, now they have edibles made with hash rosin, mm. which we had the conversation. So, what kind of edibles do you usually take? Yep, like cookies, <laughs> is it gummies, cookies, like drinkle, gummies, drinkles, drinkables, there's yeah. drinkables, yeah, yeah there's, there's drinkles. Stellar, dude. What? Yeah, yeah, there's like uh, Uncle Arnie's uh, has an apple juice. That's like a medicated apple juice. It's 100 milligrams. They also have a iced tea and a peach iced tea. Dude, I will put that over uh, like a LaCroix, and it's fucking, dude. I'll just pound that's, that, and I'll just be That's ripped, awesome. Dog. Hell yeah. Um, but so edibles, some are made with, God, what is it? Uh, Most are made with distillate, yeah. Distillate. And then um, the hash edibles are the ones that you started turning me on to, and those ones really, I can. it's a whole different high. Some described it as like, this is a 15, but it's like a true 15. Yeah, no, definitely. Because the thing with distillate is, is just THC. So it's the effect doesn't have much of like, an, like so the thing that makes weed have its effect are called the terpenes. It's the smell and flavor of the weed. Yeah. Um, and those get extracted when you use hash. They nat- are their natural state in the extract as well. As opposed right. to distillate, when they're distilling everything out, they're just collecting just THC out of out of the weed. So they're getting 99% THC, but there's no terpenes. There's nothing behind it that's going to give it its direction or like its effect. Okay. Where like a lot of these hash edibles, when they use them from certain strains, they're able to kind of have that effect go into the edible as well. So you go like a Blue Dream edible, and it'll be more of a sativa feeling edible because it still has a lot of those terpenes that are naturally in the strain in their like natural ratios as well. Oh shit. So it's like more, it's a, it's a lot like deeper of an effect. Like Frank said, like where it feels like it's stronger even because it has that full spectrum of cannabinoids and flavonoids in there. Right. Um, that really kind of make it, make it special. Weed's fun, isn't it? <coughs> well, like, I'm going to send you the masterclass email, you know, just reach out to them, you know, send them your bios and be like, let's see where this can go. Cause yeah. that'd be, that'd just be great. Just to just look at, like, have like a little, nice little slideshow of like, and that's a flavonoid. Hi, <laughs> my name's JP, and this is my master class. And then it's just like... <laughs> ripping fat globs. <laughs> you just rip a fatty. Just rip a fatty. Welcome. <laughs> master class. Have you seen the... Uh, you don't know... Have, the original glass rigs for, like, dabs. So these are, like, electronic rigs. They have, like, full-on glass dabs, uh, glass rigs. And you've probably seen them. They, had, like, have the blowtorch and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like the my experience with like drugs has been marijuana only. I like, like, like how I've, I phrased that. Like goes about like, and crystal meth. No, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I've seen like I've seen like the crack rock, like the all that stuff. Because I remember where were you around when Dare was around in school? Yeah, yeah. That was my shit back then. <laughs> that was my shit. It was just so great to, for like an officer to be like, all right, this is crack cocaine. And you're like, okay, that's what's supposed to look like. Okay. Well, I've been cooking it wrong. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, how not, that's not how mom and dad make it. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's what mom and dad got on the kitchen table. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, it's like, you know, like that's 
Dare, like they shut down Dare because it was so ineffective that it caused more people to get on drugs. Well, yeah, I learned so much about drugs. Yeah, and how to get them and where you're like, yeah, you'll find this underneath the underpass. You're like, yeah, it's <laughs> like, uh, it was like when uh, you ever watch Blow with uh, fucking Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp, yeah, when he talks about going to uh, yeah. prison and he was like, it was like college. He was like, I went in for weed and it came back with a knowledge of Coke. Yeah, right. And I was like, yeah, man. I just, I love, we just watched Cocaine Bear. Oh, yeah, I, I see haven't it. seen it yet. I can't wait. Oh, it was it was a lot. You know, like we were we loved going to the movies high as shit. Yeah, like we saw Ant Man, Quantum Mania, Me fuck, too. fucked up. It was just so great. All the colors. But when you get into a situation where you don't know what kind of movie you're yeah. ready for, we saw the Woman King high on my birthday. Oh, that's a little too much. You <laughs> no, know what I mean, no. Remember, my wife's my wife's over there. She's Asian. She's looking at my white Southern ass, just like you did this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All of this is because of you and what your people did. And yeah, like, yeah. And you're like, and we still didn't give her the Emmy. No. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> that was a phenomenal movie. Though. It was like, a great movie. And Cocaine Bear, I don't want to say it's like it was like Woman King, but it's like what? Like, it's just Cocaine Bear was just Cocaine Bear. It's like white <laughs> people's Woman King. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll say it. Um, it was just hard to see like Ray Liotta's in it, and he passed away last year. And you're just like Ray Liotta passed away. Yeah, like dude, May dude. of last year, dude. Hey Frank, I didn't know about it until I googled it last night. It's okay. <laughs> God damn it. That's like the third time that's happened. Yeah, it was to like me. right before the Sopranos movie came out. Yeah. I think yeah. he was like 67. He had like, he was working like seven movies yeah. that year. Uh, yeah, yeah. At 67, I want to be doing like no movies. You know what I mean? I don't, I want to oh, be. Oh man, that bummed me out. Well, rest in peace, Ray Liotta. God damn it. Well, I was not ready for this. It's excusable, but when it gets over that one year mark and you didn't know it, that's when it's not okay. No, actually, now that I think about it, I do remember them posting a lot about it. Yeah, I guess I just forgot. I guess I just a lot about it. You tour? mean like, you know, news articles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, wait, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, I did remember. Really oh, yeah, that girl I went to third grade with. Yeah, she posted about it. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I love getting on Facebook and seeing like people you used to go, like you uh -huh. go to school with. You're like, like, especially for me where I'm from, it's like, Okay. Yeah, was it like small? How small was the town that you grew up in? 1,500 people. Really? At most. And we had like two Golden Corrals. <laughs> it was so awesome. Because the Golden Corral got too busy on Friday, so they had to make another one. So you know the guy that was managing both those Golden Corrals? He was just like, oh, I got so much on my table. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just rolling in the money. He's like, I'm going to milk this fucking Yeah, town. dog. He's the fucking king of the corral, bro. And everyone's like, we got we to gotta respect him. He'll take away the Golden Corral. You yeah. know what that means? We'll starve to death. Wow. Cause there ain't no Walmart. 1,500 people. Yeah, man. I knew er like everyone in my school. We knew each other, and it's so great to see back at that time. You're like, okay, I moved to LA. If he was like, oh my god, Mr. Hollywood. I'm like, well, what are you guys been doing? Oh, three kids already. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. I I, that, I feel like that's just kind of not just kind of started happening to me, but like another ex of mine, I think, is having their third kid. And it's just kind of like, whoa, it's just, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. it's, it's, it is definitely a wild feeling, uh, but it, so what ha what's happening with my, uh, do you, are you, do you talk to any of the alumni from your old school? Are you one of those guys? No. No? Were you an, like, no? Yeah. Well, me. I mean, I'm also like, you know, not that far out of school. Yeah. How old are you? It's only been like a 28. 28? So it's been like, oh, what, yeah. 10 years? Like, that's, I still have everyone's on Instagram. That's, yeah, 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 that's yeah. cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, what, it's been like 13, 14, 15 almost. Ever, yeah. I, don't, <laughs> I like how you want me to do math. I just hit this He's, this big ass rip. Hilarious. I can barely count to ten. They uh, they have like a hall of fame in our high school, like their alumni hall of fame. And oh, like yeah? the two people that got in were the last were like uh, two air, airline pilots, and they made like such a big deal about it. And I remember being like seething because I was like these motherfuckers. Like I was like they haven't put me in. They haven't even acknowledged everything I've done. <laughs> Just the fact that I just get high and get upset at a Facebook alumni page. <laughs> just you know what? Battle. You know what? When you're high and you explain it like that, I feel that. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. I just, I just would love the fact that you know, you go back there, you just, you take your own headshot, you just like slide it in there, just like <laughs> just gonna put this right there, and you get your own pin there, and just walk away. Like, who the fuck did this? It was so fun. My dad was mad too, and because uh, we texted about it, and he goes. Uh, he said he was like, he goes, unless those two pilots flew, were flying on 9-11, I don't want to hear anything about what? it. <laughs> yeah, those pilots are flying on 9-11 
probably if that would be a memoriam, yeah, you yeah. probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> and you, I was like, Jesus, pops. <laughs> he was like, I never forget. And I was like, fuck it, hey, man. That's cr- that's a that's a level of like intensity when you're just sitting there like, no, I'm a good. No, let's <laughs> let's let's bring that level down. down. Let's, <laughs> let's remember, but kind of forget. You know, yeah, let's yeah. let's forget to tell people that you said that. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 just ridiculous, man. Well, does he, uh, does he, he smokes weed, right? Uh, no, he uh, he's drinks off and on. Um, he likes to. I got him on edibles, and he likes to do mushrooms a little bit. Um, but yeah, he's trying to cut back from drinking. What's mushrooms like? What do you have? You never done mushrooms? No. Oh, time. really? Yeah. No, Holy I've never shit. done it. Oh, yeah. Like that's our other podcast. You know what? You want to know something that's gonna blow my mind too? Huh. Uh, I've never been drunk. You've never been drunk? No, never once. Whoa! I've, I've had like maybe one or two beers. You my whole are life. really religious. Fuck. I didn't really know. <laughs> not anymore. I'm not. But yeah, just like my dad was, like my fa- all the men in my family were alcoholics, so just oh, never yeah, got yeah. into it. And you know, I wanted to read, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. You know, but like, yeah, I just it got to maybe getting older and older. Like when high school, when everyone's like getting drunk and having sex, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons. Fuck yeah, yeah you're like, I'm not gonna hang out with you sinners. Yeah, <laughs> just like, have you ever called people heathens? <laughs> Yeah, but not because I thought they were heathen, just because I like saying heathen. Yeah, heathen's yeah, such a good word. <laughs> I'll, I'll even yell at my wife sometimes. She'll just do, are you a heathen? Get back to where you, get back in the, get back there, you goddamn heathen. It's just fun to say <laughs> in that southern accent. Yeah, yeah. And when you, like, especially when, like, I'm at, like, I'll just, if I get really nervous, like, on stage, my accent gets really thick. You've heard, like, it gets yeah. super thick. But then it'll come in and out when I'm high. Like, I'll get, like, yeah, so, yeah, I was going to the story of the day. And I just saw this motherfucker. <laughs> It just I don't I don't know where that level of like where 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 am I right now? Where's yeah, yeah. my talk? Where how am I speaking right now? Yeah, where's Is the it, control? Yeah, where's the control? It's, it's gone. Hilarious. I just that's that's the kind of level you want where you get like your you think about like all your people in the like where you're from like in high yeah. school. You're like, dude, I'm smoking weed on a podcast now. You're working at like fucking Food Lion and you have six kids. You're you're probably much happier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 You're much more satisfied in life <laughs> because you know, like, like as me, like we just, like I just did like Slow Fest, like mm-hmm. it was the biggest show I've ever done. I got Best of Fest. I got in the slow. There was a thousand people in the audience, and then the next show I'm gonna be doing. It's like a fucking Applebee's, you know, like no other job. Ain't that the truth? Dog. No other job could you be like. Ain't that the holy truth? Holy shit! Look, all thousands of people laugh at my joke, and then I'm gonna go to like a bar that's like no we're not going to turn the tvs yeah, off yeah, yeah. you can scream over the people playing pool you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey respect our regulars that's jessica and you're like what am i what the fuck <laughs> am i doing <laughs> you yeah. like you like to drink jessica do you hear that motherfucker he just assaulted me with yeah, his yeah. words yeah, yeah. Well, i've been I, i've been here for 30 years i'll be here before i'll be here before and after you you're like oh jesus christ yeah you're like oh is that a brag yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we got karaoke after this wrap it up like have you ever followed a karaoke show? have you ever have you i've been on stage uh, yeah. where there was karaoke after me and those people do not give a fuck about yeah the, they don't care about comedy they just want to sing careless whisper at the top of their lungs I, you know what careless whisper is a great song but when you see someone do it by themselves it's very unnerving oh yeah like the night feels so you're just like, <laughs> baby it's better this way and you just yeah. see them like right in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, Jesus, yeah, I've like, seen a lot of sad karaoke singers. It's also people who do karaoke like travel and do karaoke every week. It's yeah. their thing. Tuesday that's, night, that's their spot. That's a decision they've yeah. made. They've set time out of their weekly planner. Be like, nope, I can't take you to your baseball game karaoke. tonight. I sing. You I have know? a fr- I had a friend who was like really into the karaoke scene. Like it was really? like he, like like I like we are with comedy open mics. Yeah, he was with karaoke. Dude, but no. so he was like it's seven o'clock on Wednesday at this bar, and then we can go hit the nine o'clock. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he said, uh, he there was like this one really popular karaoke spot where like everyone that karaoke's goes because it's like the hot mic or whatever. And uh, he got he got bumped by Wayne Brady, and Wayne Brady and like someone else famous, and they just both karaoke like six songs in a row and like no one else got to sing but it was just so funny that because i remember he came home defeated like fucking wayne brady showed up and i was dying laughing <laughs> and then now like you know you get bumped by like Chappelle or someone yeah, huge and then you're like <laughs> fuck it's, it hurts so much but it's also funny to <laughs> be just, like <laughs> to get bumped by wayne brady and also he's a phenomenal singer yeah, you know what he, I mean? like <laughs> the worst is what that person that had to follow him like some like single mom's like this is my only night out 
this month, I don't give a shit if Jesus Christ was up there singing. I'm fucking singing tonight, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and just just nothing but content from people <laughs> as she just but wait, 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 Brady, Brady. <laughs> yeah. oh. Hey, it's Wayne Brady coming back because she is bumming us out. You know. Oh my god. I, that's I, I love when you say that too because that that especially when you're in LA you could never you you could never imagine who's gonna come and just drop into a spot. It's, but when you live in like Orange County, like I live in Garden Grove, and I drive that hour and a half up here, all that traffic, you're just like, all right, just I just need these ten minutes to tell my jokes, and I can go home happy. Like, hey, we're gonna uh, Ken Jong's here; he's gonna take your spot. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Because <laughs> what do you say to that? You can't yeah. like you can't like. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like I, can I have the spot? I you know I, I waited to get the Laugh Factory my whole life. I'd love to. No, no, he's gonna take your spot. No, oh, that's good. okay. No, yeah. Thanks for having me. And then you just yeah. drive home and get McDonald's. You know that's what I did. <laughs> yes. Getting bumped is always like the best and the worst feeling because yeah. I remember like the first time it happens, you're like, oh shit. Well, at least I'm here. And then the fiftieth time it happens, you're like, well. This is personal. It feels like it's coming out. Ah, <laughs> oh, is, man. Is Frank coming up tonight? No, he ain't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. He ain't. You're just like, you know what? Maybe I should have worked a little harder so this wouldn't happen ever again. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's even more weird, weird when you're like, you're like, they feel in like the, the main, the, uh, oh yeah. When you're in like the original room mm -hmm. and then in the other room you have like Bill Burr and he's just slaying it right now and you're like, here, I'm going to go ahead and try this Barton Wiener joke. <laughs> oh, I've gone up on the main room and I've bombed on like a bringer show. And I remember just being like, well, fuck it. I'm not going to try. And then just like fucked around. And then I was like, all right, time to bring up the next comic. I'm like, who am I going to bring it up next? And they're like, Bill Burr. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, there's nothing worse than like, <laughs> it's different when you bomb and you're trying. Yeah. But when you bomb and you're just fucking around, wasting time, it, it, it yeah, I was like, Oh God, I couldn't even look him in the eyes. I felt so fucking terrible. For people that don't do comedy, imagine you're like trying to make 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 a sculpture, like you're trying your best, and then Frank was just like, "I'm gonna make a penis," <laughs> and then the creator of fucking pottery <laughs> <laughs> saw you just fucking around with something that you actually want to do for a living, and he's just like, "Oh, is that is that your your dick with actual veins on it?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, other weeks I made a really good vase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, ah, uh, yeah. If you were here two weeks ago, it would have been, I, I <laughs> it been yeah. impressed with yeah. my actual vase that yeah, holds yeah. flowers. I'll, I can let me bring you a recording of it. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, oh, fuck. But yeah, like you, that's that that just that amazing feeling you get when or or when you do good and you got to bring them up. When you do really well and then you got to bring up someone that you fucking idolize, yeah. that is, there's no better feeling yeah, yeah. in the world or than that. Or what another good feeling, what a fuck it, what's a great feeling is when you go up and you're up there and then you hear a very distinct laugh. Oh, and yeah. And you're just like, what the fuck? And then like you keep going and then you get off stage and you see who it is and you're like, holy shit, I made this person laugh. Yeah. And then you're like, that's fucking cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, comedy has that, that, that's, that's like a spark of like, you know, Oh, I'm going to do comedy. I'm going to go to L.A., you know, three open mics. You know, I'll be opening up for Dave Chappelle probably, you know. But, you know, we have that intensity of, like, I want to do that. I want to, like, do comedy for for full time. And then you just see, like, the people that inspired you. You know, it's there's no better feeling than making that someone, that person laugh. So, like, when I did that with Fortune Feimster, like, she's from North Carolina like I am. Just, lo just love her to death. She saw a set I did at a bar, and she's like, hey, good job. And, I'm like... I was like, oh my God, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, can I get a picture? That weird but like, can I get a picture? Oh my God, you're amazing. I love you. Oh, is this more weed? Yeah. yeah. We do uh, three flavors total. Oh, three flavors? Oh, is this another is this this a new another, flavor in here? It's another one. You want to let them know? What, yeah, this, this one's going to be the red runt. So it's going to be an unknown strawberry strain that's crossed with cookies and cream, um, but it's then crossed with runts. Uh, so it's going to be kind of sweet berry up front, yeah. Um, but then it has that kind of candy finish from the runs. It's a nice creamy smoke. Um, when you smell it, uh, if you want to let smell the jar, Frank, it's like this super sweet, almost oh. like sour strawberry smell. It smells great. Oh, yeah. Okay. A lot of that smell will translate directly into the flavor. Oh, yeah. That's from our homies over at Ember Valley. They've been been taking care of us. Thanks, Martin. Appreciate you, dog. <laughs> <coughs> so you just started smoking weed like this year, you said, and you you you've never done mushrooms. Never, done, oh, never got drunk. Never been drunk. Uh, that's yeah. Weed's the only vice I've ever. How would had. you describe mushrooms? Weed plus. 
Like it's kind of like it's like if like especially if you like edibles, like the the body feeling that mushrooms gives you is very similar. Oh, it's a lot more intensified. Um, like I'd say you feel a lot more like in your bones, like your spine, like you really feel like that like very tingly like looseness. Okay. Um, but like you eat too many edibles, you can get kind of similar feeling. Um, and then it all depends like as far as visuals go. Yeah. I think it's the variety of mushroom that really matters and the amount you take. Oh, there are okay. some that like are very mild and like I noticed you'll get good like mood elevation from and maybe you get a little bit of like kind of a body feel but then yeah. like you'll take the same amount of another one and you're like on the floor like staring at the ceiling and it's yeah. like moving and wondering about existence yeah 100%. and so it really depends just like we there's different cool like, strains whatever or different comes variants. Up, yeah. well like the universe is crashing in and you're seeing all the stars and everything just like oh cool what yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like oh shit um someone described to me they said it's like it's like edibles but with wiggles that's a good way to put it Oh, like the actual the Wiggles band or like no 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 it is like <laughs> the feeling of edibles yeah but just the Wiggles little wavy. oh wings. everything's just a little, just little wiggle oh oh all right. colors just, are usually intensified that's kind of the big thing colors and lights <coughs> I just I just I have to, the only so it's other like wearing a skirt the only drug I did do was uh, when we was illegal back in the south uh, there was this like synthetic stuff oh Jesus it you was mean, like, salvia, salvia? Uh, yeah yeah I remember like hey try this out and it was like called zombie wasteland. And then I just remember everything turning sideways and vibrating for like six hours. Yeah, that that's was, wild. Six yeah. hours of dance. <laughs> so that was a little, that was probably like synthetic, man-made, like. bunch of chemicals. Yeah. So you know, I found out that like that's awful for you. Well, the biggest thing is like all that stuff. stuff? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I just it's like can't the, stop staring uh, at my thighs. <laughs> it's like the the boner pills nice of weed. Thank you. Oh, I do like how if you put our thighs together, mine just trumps yours. Oh, like yeah. Matt, like yeah, I got those, I got those man thighs, like yeah. those, like those thighs. You I gotta get start. I gotta start. I gotta, I gotta start like walking. I did also. I just love to point out too that it just seems like you're like someone with your craft, like the master craft. You're like, and here we go. Here's a fantastic dry rub finish on this wine, and we're just getting shit faced, like, <laughs> and it's tell, like telling like, yeah, you're yeah. S- this is great, right? Like high five each other. Just some yeah. professional is like, wow, these guys are just wow. There's so something wrong with them. <laughs> You're used to it, you know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is pretty fun. I mean, I enjoy it. Yeah. Like okay. I really do have fun doing. It. Yeah, yeah. He's and I love sharing with yeah. people, especially like who don't smoke very much. So then you get to like kind of like show them what's up with weed and like get to change your experience a little bit. Maybe next time you go smoke, you think about it a little differently. You're oh, like, yeah. what did I just taste? You know, and so, yeah. I don't know. that's really good because this really that. did taste like a real like. There's a distinct flavor. You can really difference taste too. things. Yeah. That's, right, and that's weird because usually the only thing I taste is like burnt yeah. grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. even and usually because all the other stuff that's in like flour. When you burn flour, all the chlorophyll, the plant material, everything that's in there, yeah, like burns and adds a taste to it. Where this is literally those little trichomes, like the crystals, have been basically pulled off the plant with ice and water, um, and then squished, and so they literally just kind of juice out the terps. I just want to see like a, how how like, how this is made for all that. You know, oh, we like, actually have a video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, um, that would be so dope. <laughs> they have, have it on a sweatshirt. Have uh, you ever like gotten really high and then watched a really do- like informative um, thing and just yeah. like, this is amazing. They have so like th- so a lot of the uh, on Instagram a lot of the weed brands can't ad- show weed or like advertise or stuff, but some brands uh, that make rosin will advertise like how they make it, and it's a really beautiful process. It's li- awesome. Literally looks like a washing machine, and they throw bags of frozen weed in. In it and then they throw buckets of ice and then they stir it around and agitate it and then they drain it all and it just looks like you know how when they would like pan gold in the river and there was yeah. just like flakes of gold it's like yeah. that but it's all just the hash it's oh sand. shit okay. yeah it's like sand and then they strain it through like uh just mesh uh bags yeah and then they dry it all out and then they press that and then that's what becomes what we're smoking Really, like, it's like uh, it, it'd be great if like Mark Summers came by, like from the food one, and then he's just like he just gets he does the weed one first. He's like, all right, I'm gonna do the food one. This is how honey buns are made. Holy shit! Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I would love to see that. Like, it a, is commentary. Like a really <laughs> stone, like, oh, fuck, a really stone phone. Like famous person just like they make three hundred thousand of these. Did you ever watch? <laughs> uh, I could eat three hundred thousand. Did you ever? <laughs> did, you ever uh, did you ever watch a Snoop Dogg narrates uh, National Geographic? One of the best decisions I've ever seen someone do. It is. Oh, so he's gonna of... get that cheat. Is gonna get him. I'm like, holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> you know, Have you seen him guessing the answers on? Uh, Fuck! Is it the Price is Right with the or no? What's the I'm so bad. Jeopardy. TV. The one with like the missing words. There's letters missing. Oh, oh uh, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. And he's like just guessing shit like wrong. <laughs> 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 
I mean, having people like he, having he, so people do stuff, it's just fun to watch. Yeah. too. it really yeah. is. He gets um he gets stoned everywhere, dude. It's yeah. crazy. Like that is his job. He shows up and then he'll smoke weed, and no one like stops him for it's. Cra- he got stoned at the White House. Like it's fucking wild. <laughs> it's like, <yeah. laughs> that's it's expected. It's almost like if you don't, they're gonna get upset at you. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. Well, I mean, I, at the White House, I bet there was like a, a rule, and they were very upset that he did it. But at, on the same regard, whoever booked him knew he wasn't gonna come in there with like a suit on, and be like, now weed. I think you should try it. <laughs> like, no, it's like he's gonna be high all the fucking time. Of course, that's what his. That's what he does, and he makes some fucking great music when he does. Hell oh yeah. yeah, he does. His someone was his like he was talking about his business philosophy. <clears throat> he was saying how he's like uh, he you know he doesn't leave money on the table, right? Yeah. So like like if people come up with an offer and it, you know he'll tell them, and if it's not what they want, he'll be like, all right, well let's do what we can do, and yeah. um, that's why like. You'll see him in random <laughs> Japanese K-pop videos or like random foreign movies or just random shit because he is Snoop Dogg and he loves being Snoop Dogg, but he'll like absolutely like do some fun shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you have, if you're like the most famous person to do stuff and like you have a chance to like, hey, you want to be in this Japanese like like teen pop video? I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's do this. You know I mean? It's just sounds so fun. I would live to, I don't know. Do you watch foreign movies? Hell yeah. I love like South Korean uh, martial arts movies and stuff. Yes, I would die to be like the bad guy that's American. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they always have like one American guy who's like, "Well, well, well," like just speaks American. You know what I mean? And then like they have subtitles for him and shit. It's so funny. But I'd love to be that dude. I do love when they they dub it. And yeah. they don't use his voice. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> like he's speaking English, but the person that's speaking English over it doesn't match up. So it's oh, yeah. just like, and we want to do a story. Story, and like it's like. Yeah. What is he saying? Or they'll like leave it in English and he'll say it in English and then like the Japanese double comes. Oh, so it's yeah. like just a Japanese guy saying it and it's so funny. <laughs> it's just, you watch it, you watch the subtitles and it's everything's foreign but his voice is in it and you're like, that's not what he said. Yeah, like, yeah, you're like, doesn't that, doesn't, that, that is, does not match up. Yeah, it's so funny. I just, uh, yeah, K, it was K1's uh, like uh, Kingdom on Netflix. Mm-hmm. That oh my God, I love it. Phenomenal. Kingdom. Did you watch it? So it's basically like, uh, God, what were, like, Z- they're zombies. It's zombies in feudal Japan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and they, uh, if when it comes to sunlight, they, they come. They they're they're dead during the sun, but when it comes out to at night, they're out at night. Like I am legend shit. Yeah. 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 Well, actually, little spoiler. Come to find out, because it's so cold at night, that's why they don't move. And then, yeah. like, once it gets warmer, they're like up, and they're just fucking up. It is a really. It's. It, I love, love how you can just watch things from all around the world now. Yeah. Like, was like 10, 15 years ago when we were kids? You, you're like, oh, where did you get all your information from? Jimmy's brother said it was true. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, you never questioned it ever again until you're like, oh, oh that, that motherfucker lied to me. So my dad, uh, very, very great example. My dad loves Netflix. He'll just sit and watch Netflix. Um, and he'll watch documentaries. So there was a Steve McQueen documentary. Do you know who Steve McQueen is? Yeah. He's the race car driver, right? Yeah. So... I think he, my dad uh, watched the wrong documentary, and I think it was the Steve Madden documentary. So he got Steve McQueen and Steve Madden mixed up. So he, like, for an hour and a half was watching this documentary about a shoe designer waiting for him to start racing cars. <laughs> and he was just like, and he called me. He was like, I learned a lot about shoes. It's a really pivotal part in his life. He's like, no, you can race cars. Can you make a shoe? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, dude, it was so funny. But yeah, he'll watch like random shit. Um, he like also my wife does that. She's such an old person. She'll watch like WW two Ken Burns documentaries. Like just have them on and just like chill and watch it. Unless it's the History Channel, I don't want to watch anything about World War Two because anything that I don't care what between nineteen thirty eight and nineteen forty five, nothing happened but Nazis. That's that was doesn't matter what happened. It was that, and that's all that the History Channel cares about. Like what? 1946? What are you fucking talking about? Nothing was invented. No, they were nothing. just fighting Nazis. Yeah, it's just like oh, Captain America showed up, and you're just like, wait a minute. Yeah, right. They could be like <laughs> the atom bomb. Yeah, is what they use against the Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this last episode. How ridiculous uh, live TV has been or it has become. Uh, we watched like Married at First Sight, uh, like uh, Love Is Blind, 90 Day Fiance. We watched all that shit. We even watched the. The break off shows like 90 Day Fiance Abroad or when they when the people the on the show, sh- yeah. they watch the other people on the show and like and they comment on it. Wow. <laughs> you know how big your show has to be where you can get people from other seasons, watch this current season and then comment on it. How many of those relationships last? 
bro, I, I don't think a lot of them. Uh, well, enough of them, enough of them succeed for them to have a spinoff show of that, and enough of them fail to be like the 90 Day Fiance, the single life. Is an actual yeah. show. <sighs> That's why. And then, like, there's one where, like, that one uh, Colt and his mom, like, they were, like, in an episode, like, they had their own show after. Yeah. So, like, that where they'll take different people and just give them shows. Yeah. You remember, what, what was the, what was the, there was a little, I think it was, like, the, the 2000s. We literally had a, a reality show about a little family. It was, like, a family. I think there's people. a lot of those. What? A lot of those shows. shows? Yeah. Like, they, we have shows just. Because there's like Fully. a little, there's like Little Women series, like yes. in different cities. And yeah, shit. that's right. Yeah. Oh, little people, big world. That was a good one too. But yeah, like back like 15 years ago, it, the biggest thing we had was like Jersey Shore, and that's it. Yeah. And that was reality. You'd be like, holy shit, this is crazy. And now we have a reality show for fucking everything. Yeah. And that's they like they made a reality show for all of the people that have been on Jersey Shore like shows around the world, and they put them on one show. Uh, yeah, it was it was like the UK version, the South version. Like they did like all that shit. Also, I think my favorite show on Netflix right now is Too Hot to Handle, where it's like those really beautiful people get on an island, they can't have sex, and like me and my wife are watching. Like, yeah, we could last. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can last. <laughs> like if someone's like, you get a hundred thousand dollars, like grab me a hundred. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? A hundred thousand dollars to not. Have sex? I mean, my wife, yeah, yeah. We would win five hundred thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Like my like, wife does not want to. No, she does. She does. She's, <laughs> she's, she's busy. Just, she works. They're like, lot. okay, next challenge. You guys can't touch each other, physically or hold hands. We haven't been doing this the whole time already. I mean, yeah, I don't know what yeah. you want to talk about, dude. <laughs> it's just like those people. Like I don't know where they get in the mindset. We're like, anytime I think about being on reality TV, I would just I would be more reserved to myself. Yeah. I wouldn't be that person who's just like. I'm going to suck everyone's dick. Yeah, which is like, so funny because that's not what they want. They're like, oh, we don't want to watch it. We don't want, we don't want a reserved person with morals. Well, yeah. We don't want someone that's going to be very complex and like think about what they say before they say it. We want someone that's like, I'm going to punch that little kid in the fucking dick. You're like, <laughs> what? Like, yes. What kid? This is too hot to handle. Where's yeah, this kid yeah, come yeah. from? <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, like they're like, they're surprised when these people come on. They're like, oh, by the way, you're on too hot to handle. You can't have sex. And they're like, what? Even though when you've worked like back scenes, you're like, these people have signed so many release forms. They that totally know. Yeah, it's th- such bad acting. Yeah, they're like, oh my God, what? Did you ever meet a, a, a person that was on reality TV in person? Yeah. They are the worst because they're, they're the worst than real celebrities. Because they, because they didn't work for it. They're just like, yeah, you know, I'm a thousand pounds. Okay, <laughs> here's, here's, a, here's a bunch of money and, sh- and fame. Oh, normal people are dumb. Like that's... The thousands, the thousand, the thousand pound sisters, the, like I watched that show and like in my head, I'm like, they gotta be acting. You can't really be these people of thinking. Oh, like, they absolutely have to turn it up at yeah, some point. There's no way they're just sitting at home. Like, should we fight? Like that's, there's no way that's real. Like if yeah. someone's like, they, these crew can't be standing over all the day. Like, like a nature doc, nature documentary. Like, oh, <laughs> come on, do something. Yeah. Fight. Like, it's it's acting. It has to be. Oh, absolutely. They, uh, I mean, you look at like uh, the old school reality TV shows, and like Paris Hilton came out and said she was like, I was acting most of the oh, time. Yeah. You know, because she also knew it's just marketing, just great marketing. Yeah, because you're never gonna like like you said, we're never you're never gonna watch a show about someone that's like, you know, you know, I I really enjoy my job. Oh, sorry, I might have spoken out of turn. My apologies. You know, <laughs> yeah. you want someone's like. Just, just all like they just give me all the alcohol. Like they just did a line of cocaine and like I'm gonna make every wrong decision tonight. Yeah. Like there's no way that's real. It has to be like amped up. Well, I mean, the old real world. It was like what it was the mix of like uh, it was like young people and booze. That's what they gave everyone on that show. Yeah, because that's why I like the Ultimate Fighter so much because it was a mix of like a bunch of unstable people trying to get into the UFC. In the first couple seasons, they just fed them booze. And so there was just crazy shit. And so it was like crazy reality TV and then fights. Yeah, That's but everyone got a fight. Yeah. yeah, it was fire. <laughs> There's, yeah, I mean, obviously you're just watching that like, yeah, this is amazing. But the people behind you are like, oh, there are people are ruining their lives right now. Yeah, There's, like, oh, we could all die. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not getting through this week. They're getting safely. punched in the head for a living. Yeah, it was kind of wild. The first season, there's a lot of like crazy shit too, where like there's like they're holding a dude in the sauna and he's like passing out. It's crazy. Oh, uh, Gabe Rudiger? I don't remember. The they held a gut dude in a sauna? They like, because he like wouldn't want to cut weight. And like he had to cut weight and like he was down, but everyone's like, dude, you're just being a pussy, which he was probably having a really tough time actually. But they like they held the sauna door shut and they're like, do you want to fight or not? 
And like last year, it's like really fucked up now. Yeah. But it was also like what made it special. You know what's also, I was, uh, my wife brought this up. She's like, when do the camera guys get involved? You know, like if I saw someone like pushing someone in a sauna and holding them there and they're like about to pass out, at what point do I say, I'm going to turn this camera off and I'm going to save this person? You know, like there's all these instances. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, keep it rolling. That's like, I, I feel like they have to cast those people that do like nature photography where they're about to see like a, a person get picked up by like a, a rhino. They're like, nope. <laughs> I ain't missing this for nothing. Like <laughs> that person's definitely gonna die. <laughs> like, oh shit! Well, at least you got the shot. That that's reality shows, right? Did you there. ever watch uh, what was it? It's uh, Stringers on Netflix, where it was about uh, the people that chase uh, accidents and stuff. What? Oh so it was yeah, a movie yeah, that yeah. Nightcrawler yeah, yeah. was based off of. What? It was like a show that was in it. Like it was like uh, L.A. Loud News and like all those random like yeah, like, yeah. like they were like solo like. Independent news journalisms that would like listen to police scanners and show that so and go like get like, like old school news or just news in general when they yeah. have like uh, they were like <laughs> <laughs> you ever you ever yeah, learn about current cable? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, where it'll be like this at five an accident on four oh five and then they'll have like a video of like the accident and the guy's like fucking holding his head and shit. Um, yeah. That person that shot it is usually an independent journalist or some person who like listens to police scanners and drives and then films it and really? then they send them like they the content it. they sell them the content. Um, wow! So there's, awesome. yeah, there's a movie that. the Nightcrawler with um, Gyllenhaal. J- yeah, Jake Gyllenhaal was that was in it. But then there was an actual documentary series about those guys that do that, and it's fucking fascinating. I think the first episode you see a fucking wild car crash, it's like a car a stalls cars. in the middle of the freeway, right. and then you see it just get ripped because the guy is like same thing. He's behind the camera and he's just like someone's gonna get fucking hit. Yeah. He's like, do I still keep filming, whatever? And then like he gets hit, and then he like puts the camera down and then has to help. It's fucking wild. There's a lot of that, I think, in the show of them, like, rationalizing their reasoning of why they don't, like, get involved. Yeah. It's really interesting. It's kind of wild. I don't know. Like, I, I don't, for me, I'd just be at that point, like, is money worth it? Or is, you know, keeping, that, someone. <laughs> yeah. keeping that little girl that that car is about to hit, you know, like, at that point, it's not even, I mean, I'll throw my camera at the car to stop that. You know, it's, mm-hmm. I guess that's, I don't know. I guess I guess I've never been at that that point where I'm like, I need that money, mm-hmm. or or it's that weird thrill that they're like, hey, I need to get this. Imp- yeah. You know, yeah, I gotta try it. Like, I don't know. It's just that's like a moral high ground that being this high is not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's it. I know. Like we're just talking about like snacks and like people narrating stuff when you're high. Like, <laughs> And so then like we're just Mark like Summers. dead people. Yeah, uh-huh. we went from like Mark Summers narrating like unwrapped high, like man, look at these honey buns. To I don't know, man, just watching a kid die. I don't know if I could record it. <laughs> 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 That's why I love weed because there is no way we could connect that stuff sober. Hilarious. There's no way we would ever get to that sober. Well, we got to it pretty quick. High. It's only <laughs> it's only three degrees away. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Nick, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Spider-Man with everyone. <laughs> no, no, Jake no, no. Gyllenhaal died in Spider-Man. Holy shit. No <laughs> one stopped that accident. <laughs> Have you, you know, uh, what do you guys think about Quantumania? That was awesome. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, yeah. I always will enjoy a movie. My buddy said it the best. It's like <laughs> a, long, a long episode of Rick and Morty. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, where it's, like, kind of goofy. There's a lot of, like, kind of throwaway comedy stuff in there that's very Ant-Man-esque. Yeah. But, like, kind of, like, just, less, like, some shit that, like, they said. That it was, was meta. Good. It was, like, it was, was very aware of itself. Yeah, so it's seven. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. literally I mean, what Paul Rudd's characters are, is being, like, a cool guy that's, like, also kind of tough, but does kind of nice stuff. But he's really a cool guy in the end. You know, I've never seen a Paul Rudd movie where he's just like, I'm going to be a dick in this movie. Because no one would believe it, because he has that smile. But yeah, that was a good movie. It was just, it was weird. Yeah, no, I think so. I think it was like, I mean, the implications are like what it's setting up is like what I'm excited about, like all the Kang stuff. Um, but it's it's also yeah, I think it was kind of like a a, w- a weak bump to start uh, like Phase Five. Oh, my wife thought this, and we if you if you guys remember when he came back, remember when he came back from the the realm, like the door shut, but yeah. he stayed behind. Yeah, and then. Less than a second later, they were able to open the portal yeah, yeah. again for him. That doesn't make any sense. But we were thinking that the portal never opened back up. He had a psychotic break. Because remember when he was like going to that place where yeah. he was like a bunch of them? She's thinking like, what if he had a psychotic break? And all this stuff you know, that was happening out in the outside world, it was going too well. So what if that was just him and his mind just recreating that just to stay sane in the quantum realm? I was like, that's a good that point. It's like an Inception ending. Ooh. Yeah, like, where you're like, what just happened? Yeah, th- he never got out, so he's still stuck in there, and he's lost his mind. Because of all the three movies about Ant-Man, 
they just keep saying how if you go to the quantum realm, you'll lose your mind. It's you can't. There's no concepts there. <coughs> and they they didn't open the portal in the first place. How were they able to open the portal on the other side? No problem. Like a second later, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And I was just like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't poke holes in my new favorite movie. Yeah. <laughs> don't put logic holes in it. There's a lot of them. How about that Modoc face? How unnerving that was. That they I, they edited it. They like after I think after the first like weekend they like touched it up and re-released like stuff to like make it look better. I think that's good. They like tried to fix CGI. Oh, I'm sorry. If someone built me a car and then I rode pretty, it was um, it felt weird in it for the first week. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The next people that buy it, we'll fix it for them. I'm like. Well, what about you? Maybe you should have fixed it before you sent it out. You know what I mean? I liked. Uh, oh, is that it? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like, God damn. I like the, the light? I like the way that they uh, wrapped everything together, especially with that character. That like truly like you were saying there were some really funny moments, but like I I don't know I still enjoyed the full movie. I did like Darren coming back. It was like yeah. okay, I mean, it really think about it though that was like that was 13 years ago. Yeah. The first Ant Man came out. Mm-hmm. You're like. Who are you again? Like you, it, they had to oh. do a flashback Whoa. to Darren. Yeah. Okay, hey, if that you actor watched it is t- great. He's a great actor. Oh, you meant like the movie? The movie, yeah. 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 No, not oh, the shit, actor. Yeah. Like so much years. has happened too. Yeah. Right? Like it's like its own se- Yeah, their own. But also too movies. that like in the first anime movie that that fight in the bedroom, Cass, like when they're fighting in Cassie's bedroom, is one of the coolest fights. Like when everything gets big and small, yeah. and like is like the f- yeah. dopest shit. But remember, and I feel like we missed a lot of that in this movie. Yeah. Where like when he fights in the other ones, there's a lot of dope like growing and shrinking and crazy cool shit and this one was like uh, it was more like hey look how ridiculous everything else Elsa, is yeah and it's, look uh, how not ridiculous his powers that's are that's how cool man is but like, dope shit if you guys think about it, like t- tell me if i'm wrong the first 44 five minutes it felt like a new star wars movie it everything was going on and i was like who the fuck are these people who are these characters and it got too long for them to give me some exposition and we're like oh by the way this is you know, this we're talking about Kang. She's just like one strange thing after another. Yeah, that makes sense. And like You're going like, to another planet. When it they really meet, made like, you Bill feel. Well, I, I, I guess there's nothing to grasp on. Like there's nothing for me to be like. Okay, I'm back in the plot now. Yeah. I'm the story because everything was just like new thing, new thing, new thing. You're like, well, who, the only thing who, I would argue would, would be that is like you're as viewers, we are also new to the quantum realm, so we feel as in the know as those guys do the first time that they're there because they're like well who the fuck are these people blah 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 except for the mom which except for the mom who just, doesn't tell us anything right that's also annoying is that you have i will give you that that she that was annoying she didn't want to say anything through pretty much predominantly the whole movie but if, if they would if she would have given context like the when they're on the that plane that little that plane the first time mm-hmm. there's a good like 10 minutes of her she can be like are you guys ready? Let's autopilot. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Autopilot. Let Let's me tell put you. the music on. Yeah. Let me tell you that really in the script is like three lines that I could have told you guys at any point in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's but yeah, then then you're like, okay, now I got it. But it's like an hour and a half in the movie. You're like, it's I'm tired now. Yeah, yeah. Because it felt like, like it felt like a Star Wars movie. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty long. But when the people died, like those people, those characters that they they didn't build up or like give us names or anything until like halfway through the movie when they died, I'm like. I, I'm not invested in them. I'm not invested in them because I've only had I've only known their names for like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But Cocaine Bear, fucking necessary. <laughs> shit, start to finish was like this all is right. fucking poetry. Uh, anything you want to plug before we start to get out of here? Or did you tell oh. the? Did you say the last flavor? Oh, those the apple tarts from my homies over Ember Valley once again. That was the um, sour. <laughs> a- we didn't talk about it now. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Apple fritter and runs. Uh, we smoked on the show before, but that one should have like a kind of nice like sour apple front to it. But then the apple, uh, the um, animal cookies and the runs oh, in there really okay. take over and make it super funky and candy like. Anything you want to plug? Before? Super gassy. Uh, no. All right, yeah, cool. I just, just love being uh, hanging out. I do love it. It's like we gotta keep, keep on a good timetable when you get two fucking stoner comics <laughs> yeah. that love to talk about TV shows and movies. Yeah. Yeah. This was not a recipe. If, if you want to put a time ta- a timetable on it, like <laughs> oh, at eight seventeen to eight thirty, we're gonna incoherent ramble about you know Netflix shows. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, hey, really did go all over the place. This is yeah, the this is yeah. pretty much what the podcast is. Um, <laughs> and all the stuff that you post about working and that guy yeah. is that real? One hundred percent real. So so on Facebook, he posts about his coworker, and it is the funniest shit ever because it's always just about this ridiculous guy and i can't tell if it's a character or not no it's no it's 100 percent him especially when they found out it was a median and he just like it turned it up like he had to be he was the office funny guy 
But he's like, not anymore. Apparently, Anthony is. He's a comedian. <laughs> I was just like, dude, it is not a contest. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to be here. And he's just like, yeah, you do. We're having crazy fun time here. It's like, I will kill myself right now, <laughs> sir. Stop. Like, this, it was just that. And also, like, they didn't respect me at the beginning. So he's just like, you just just do random shit to me. I'm just like, dude, this is this is like playground shit. Aren't you like 50? And he's like, gotcha. <laughs> like he, he even had a red nose that he put on when he made jokes during like Zoom meetings. And I was just like, dude, why are you doing this? You're like, yeah, and then otherwise you're just picking on the the sweet 50 year old guy who's worked here for 30 years. Yeah, because you know they're always good. he's been there for 30 years. You, they're never gonna take my side. Like, hey, yeah. this guy's kind of ah, that's well, don't Jerry be a dick to Jerry. Yeah, 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 Jerry's the life of this party. He's been the comedy guy before you got here. Like, he can still be that guy. <laughs> I just want to go home. It'll work, man. <laughs> I fucking love it. Well, but keep, also keep to be us updated. Fifty years old and to really have to fight for everyone's approval like that yeah. must be real shitty. Yeah. yeah. No. You yeah. know he goes home and he cries. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, there's a chance that he, like, I'm making fun of this guy. And he's just like, this is the most anybody's ever talked about me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you so much, Let's guys. That dumb. <laughs> <laughs> You just see him just watching this. He's like, well, today's the day. <laughs> <laughs>